This is the spark plug we needed DR8EA the 0.7 mm went in the R here means resistor gap of the new spark plug is 0.65 mm My bike has done more than 15,000 kilometers, so I'm going to change this power plug. I use the 18mm ring spanner to open the plug. This is the new plug I have bought from Yamaha Subway Center for 204 rupees. Now, if you see the difference between the both. Uh, look at this uh, inner insulator the edges have become round and for this one it is so sharp you can also check the owner's manual this is the spark plug we needed dr8ea the r here means resistor this spark plug have a resistor if if the spark plug does not have the r written that means the spark plug does not have the resistor and here is the gap given it should be 0 0.6 to 0.07 mm 0 0.6 to 0.07 neither less not more the performance will be in affected and 18 mm 18 nm torque is required to tighten the spark plug but i will tell you how to do it here is the written if the spark plug is new you need to tighten it one half when the spark plug is fully seated and if you using the old spark plug then one fourth is you need to turn in now let's check the spark plug gap using this uh, feeler gauge 0 0.6 to 0 0.7 okay uh, here is the 0 0.6 here is the 0 0.6 uh, this is 0 0.8 this is 6.5 uh, this is 0.7 okay I have now here the 0 0.6 and 0 0.7 now first let's check the spark, uh, gap of the old spark plug the 0.7 mm went in now let's insert try inserting the point uh, a little more I have uh, 0 0.75 as well the 0 0.75 is barely going in but it but it did went in so it's more than uh, uh, it's 0 0.75 actually so let's check this gap of the new spark plug here is the 0 0.07 0 0.7 mm uh, it's not going in now let's do, do with the uh, 6 where is the 6 6 6 6 6 this is the 6.6 mm it's going in you see that the 0 0.6 the, the gap of the new spark plug is 0 0.6 and the old one have 0 0.75 mm let's try 0 0.65 6.5 as well going in 0.7 is not going in yeah 0.7 is not going in so the gap of the new spark plug is 0.65 mm and for the old one it's 0.75 now this uh, spark plug have the in this ring it's it's not compressed now if you look at the old spark plug this spring is completely compressed now while installing the new spark plug we will rotate it half half the thread so that this uh, wasser get completely compressed and once the once you reinstall the old plug we will turn only one fourth so now how do we do it first tighten the spark plug with your hands only until the until this washer gets seated on the spark plug seat now as you can see the spark plug is completely seated on its seat now we'll rotate 
this power plug I have this spanner here I will rotate it here and then again do the same I have turned it one fourth and here is another one fourth that's half so this this is what you need to do in now put in the cap that's it guys thanks for watching